Hello, this is Hui. Welcome to watch my video C++ Programming on Linux. In this short video, we are going to make an SX parser example using Apache Access C++ libraries. Apache Access C++ XML parser and provide a shared library for parsing, generating, manipulating, and validating XM documents using DOM, SAX, and SAX2 API. The DOM stands for the Document Object Model, and SAX stands for the Simple API for XML. So the, in previous video, we made an example for DOM parser. In this short video, we are going to make an example using SAX parser to parse a XM document. Here on the Linux, we just create a simple program called my SAX parser.cpp. We are going to design program. This usage is my SAX parser and the XM files. And we are going to use the SAX parser to parse this XM files. So as usual, we have to first initialize using the XM platform utility initialize. And if we initialize is okay, the first sense we start our parser with the object is SAX parser. We name it the parser with new SAX parser. So this parser and we need to set up a validation scheme and we have three selection here and always never and auto so we just set up auto and we can set up another option which is like a do namespace and we can set up true or false there's a few others depending on how you use your parser so after we set up the validation option then we need to create an object we call the name is dog handler which we customized called my SAX handler class and it's, we name it a dog handler and uh, also we instantialize the object called the error handler so we our parser then we set using the set document handler with the, our customized handler to handle how we parsing our document and we also set up error handler with our error handler so after that, we can just use a simple our parser and use a parse method to parse our XM document, which is we get from the command line, which is the file. So this parse is the SX 1.0 parser interface, and this method return void. So different from previous video, we made a DOM parser for the DOM parser, and the DOM parser is the parse uh, XM document and the build a corresponding doc tree object we call the document DOM document so it means the DOM parser which we parse the XM file load all of them into the memory into the document tree object called the DOM document instead of in the SAX parser it scans the XM file or element by element to parsing don't need to load into the memory so the DOM parser is good for the application which load configure file if your application or project configure file been set using XM file using like a oracle.xml web.xml we can load into the using DOM to load into the memory and we use this value of setup to handle our project. Instead, if our XML is like a translation, for example, you have a supply chain order, we have 10,000 orders, we cannot load all of them into the memory, and we just need to use an ICX parser to scan it, parse this. So our customizers handling the document is called my ICX handler. We create a program called my sx handler.cpp and the header file is called my sx handler.hpp. In this header file, 
we just uh, specify our class called my sx handler derived from the handler base. This is the interface for the document handler using here interface. So there's a many method called the characters in the document and the element. In our customization, we only overwrite three since it's about the start element, end element, and the characters. Here is our XML. So this is the start element. So first root element is the book star and the start element book and the start end, end of the element slash book. So this is end of element. And the old element between the start end is the characters, which is the text date. So we have a, for the element, we just make a demo to write a start element. And as we say, start element has a name and attribute. So if you look at our example, XML, this is start element, this is the name. So for this element, name is the book. And this element has two attributes. This element called book star don't have any attribute. So for the start element, we call its name and the attribute list. So and uh, so end element is only have a name, don't have any attribute. Uh, this is the end element, only have a name. And between element, they call the characters. When the scanning of XM find the start element, there be invoke this method. So when find the end of the element, there be invoke this method. So if you find that there's a character between the elements, there will be invoke this method. So we are going to customize this and then making our own customized document handler. So there's also error handling. This is a, so this is a fatal error, error method, which is report a fatal XM person error. There's also other method which we can customize. One is called error, one is called warning. So error method trick uh, invoke when receiving a recoverable parser errors. And if there's a warning during the parsing, we'll be triggered this warning. So we most of forecast if we hand, how we handle start element and element and the characters. So what we're going to do, we create a integer called number sequence. And when we, we try to customize our this starting element and the element and the characters to and then we going to use each time this method has been invoked, we just uh, add one sequence and print out a sequence and to check how the SX parser to scan XM files. So here is our class implementation. And so first we have our default constructor and during the default constructor, we just set up our number sequence is zero. And there's a deconstructor. constructor. So for our customized starting element invoked, set number of a sec plus plus. So we just print out number sequence and we just with a start. And as we know, this method get two parameters. One's name, one's attribute at least. Then if we have attribute, we just print out the attribute using the attribute get name and the attribute get a value. Our ex example, this has the attribute name, this is attribute value. And if the end element received our number sequence, plus plus, and we just print out to number sequence and end a name, so we know which number sequence we invoke this end of element. For the characters between elements, we get the data, which is the characters and the length of this state. So we still add our number sequence plus one, and we just print out the number sequence, and we just print out the date, and uh, all the dates we between this element. So we know the number sequence and the date, and this is the date method we invoke it. So if we have a fatal error, we just get the message and the line. So we know which number line 
we got an error, so we save this, we compile this. So now we got compiled, we have our executable, and uh, so we just executable. This is our XM files, and we try. So we run this, parse this XM file, and uh, direct to the log file, and uh, then to see, check our log file. So you can see this is uh, ex example our XM file. We first uh, invoke the element start method. So start with name is book star. So we start with book star. We invoke the element date method because uh, there's an element of data with a space and the change line between the book star and the next start element is book. So this is the date we invoke it. And then we start as number three, we start the book. So we scan, start the book, uh, start element, the book. This book start element has two attributes. So it has a category, cooking, language, Italian. So this is uh, the attribute. And after that, between the, this element to next element, which there's a space, so we start this is a date, invoke, but it's nothing, it's space. Then we see invoke the scan the title, so this is the start element the title, and this is the date, everyday Italian, which is the date, and then we start end of element, invoke, end of title, and end of title. So here is the way we start as that we start author, author, and author date, and end of author, and, and year, year, and end of year, and the price. Price has a attribute of currency, Canadian, and the $30, and the end of price, and then end of book. So from the step three, to step 21 is the whole scanning of this whole book. So if we want to make some customization, we can customize our starter element, end element, and the date method, which we involve. For example, the only space of between this, we try to get rid of this date. So here, we back to our SX handler, and uh, we try to say if this character this and uh, there's nothing on this space, we try to skip this. We rewrite this method. So what we do first, uh, we get the date. We using the XML string transcode method to convert this date from the XMCH to the char called my text. Then we using the XM string the trim method to trim this my tag. Why we need to convert? Because our data is a constant data, so it's not able to modify. So we convert this to a my text, which we're able to modify. So we trim because we have trim. After we got the my text trim, we using the XM string string line to get the back and the my text to get the length of my text. So if my tag line is greater than zero, it means the, our date is not a space. Then we XM my sequence plus plus, then print, print my sequence. Otherwise, we just escape. So this method XML transcode doing the convert date to my text. It's also allocated memory for, so after we use that, we have to call the XM string release my text to release the memory which we allocated from this transcode method. Otherwise, we are going to get the memory leaking. So now let's save this. We made a change. So we're compiling. It's compiled to run our program again. So this executable is my XML file. We direct my test.log. So let's check our log. You can see we made a customize to the characters method. So when we then we change this for the sequence. So number one, we start book star, book star. There's also space between the book star and the book, but we skipped. So we are second, we start the book. We start the book and this book has cat uh, category, has attribute language. And after we finish the 
handling the start element, we skip the space. So we starting the title, it's a title element, and it's end of title. So this is a, just a simple example. So we can customize how we scanning the XM file. Hello, this is uh, Hui. Thanks to watch my video. Hopeful this is uh, useful and uh, it's going to be great to have your feedback.